Hi friends, and welcome to Drama Class. Today we're going to start out with our circle time questions of the day. Now most of these questions you already know, but just to go over them, we're going to say our name, our favorite color, and our favorite animal. And then instead of saying who we're thankful for today, we're going to say who we live at home with, okay? All right, well, I'll go first. My name is Miss Sherlock. My favorite color is blue, and my favorite animal is a monkey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I live at home with my husband, Mark. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Can you say your first name and your last name? Very good. What's your favorite color? Good job! And what's your favorite animal? What noise does that animal make? Very good. And who do you live at home with? That's great. I hope you're having a lot of fun with them at home. Okay guys, so today we're going to be learning a new poem. This week's theme is flowers and gardening. So this poem is about gardening. Have you ever been in a garden before? Does your house have a garden? Very nice. Okay guys, so we're going to do the poem like we usually do. I'll say the whole thing first and then I'll say it and you repeat me as I say it again and then we'll do the movement. Does that sound good? All right, here we go. Five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a yellow bird and flew away with one. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a blue bird and flies away with one. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a red bird and flew away with one. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a pink bird and flew away with one. One garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along comes a green bird and then there were none. How does that sound, guys? Well, great. That's the poem we're doing today. If you notice, if you had your listening ears on, the poem was the same over and over again, except for what? The color of the bird. You're right. The color of the bird was the only thing different and counting down from five, which I know you know how to do. Are you guys ready to try the poem with me? Okay. Remember, I'll say it first and then you repeat the line after me. Okay. Five garden snails. Five garden snails. Sleeping in the sun, sleeping in the sun. Along comes a yellow bird, along comes a yellow bird, and flew away with one, and flew away with one. Great job, guys. So now that the rest of the poem is pretty similar, except for the color of the bird and the number, we're going to say the line a little differently to see if you remember it even better, okay? Here we go. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a bluebird and flew away with one. Along comes a bluebird and flew away with one. Very good. All right. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a red bird and flew away with one. Along comes a red bird and flew away with one. Good. Two. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a pink bird and flew away with one. Along comes a pink bird and flew away with one. Great job. All right, one more. One garden snail sleeping in the sun. One garden snail 
sleeping in the sun. Along comes a green bird, and then there were none. Along comes a green bird, and then there were none. Great job, guys. You just did the whole poem. Does that sound easy? Can we add movement? All right, perfect. Here we go. You can hold up the number. Can you hold up your fingers to that number five? One, two, three, four, five. Good. All right. Five garden snails. Good. Five garden snails. Sleeping in the sun. Good. Sleeping in the sun. And then we're going to be little birds. Along comes a yellow bird. Good. Along comes a yellow bird. And flew away with one. Can you do that? Put your thumb down. Flew away with one. Very good. Now we're going to go to four. Four garden snails. Good. Four garden snails. Sleeping in the sun. Very good. Along comes a bluebird. Along comes a bluebird. And put your pinky down. Flew away with one. Very good. Flew away with one. Three garden snails. Sleeping in the sun. Very good. Along comes a red bird. Can you be a red bird? Very good. And flew away with one and flew away with one. How many is this? Two, very good. Two garden snails. Two garden snails. Sleeping in the sun. Sleeping in the sun. Along comes a pink bird. Along comes a pink bird. And flew away with one. And flew away with one. Good. One garden snail, sleeping in the sun, along comes a green bird, and then there were none, and then there were none. Great job, guys. Can we try the poem all together without stopping and starting? You think you could do that? Good. Me too. All right. Put your hand up. We're going to do five. Very good. Five. All right. Here we go. Five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a yellow bird and flew away with one. Four garden snails sleeping in the, sleeping in the sun. Along comes a blue bird and flew away with one. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a red bird and flew away with one. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a pink bird and flew away with one. One garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along comes a green bird and then there were none. Good job guys! You did so great with the poem. I am so proud of you. Can we try it one more time? One? One more? All right. Here we go. This is our last time, guys. Hold it up. Very good. Yeah. Five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a yellow bird and flew away with one. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a blue bird and flew away with one. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a red bird and flew away with one. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a pink bird and flew away with one. One garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along came a green bird and then there were none. Good job, guys. You did so great with the poem today and I can't wait to hear it when we finally get back to school. I miss you guys so much, but I hope you had a great weekend, and I hope you have a great week this week. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears listening. Keep on learning. Have a great day. Bye.